welcome to you are hiding under your bed. You are hiding under your bed. Something is searching for you. Your mother's voice echoes in the hallway. Sweetheart, come out. Your mother wants to see you. She died years ago. Crawl out or stay under your bed. I'll stay under my bed, please, and thank you very much. You stay hidden underneath your bed. Footsteps echo in the hallway, and you hear your mother's voice once more. Come out. Your mother has a surprise for you. Remain still or phone for help. I think I'll remain still. You remain under your bed for 10 minutes when you suddenly hear a man's voice coming from the hallway. This is the police. We have apprehended the intruder and it is now safe for you to come out. You are hiding under your bed. Remain still or come out. Well, I think the fact that it gives me the choice I'll have to remain still Everything is fine, the officer's voice continued. We have the suspect in custody and several other officers are waiting outside. Remain still or come out. I'll remain still. There's nothing to be afraid of, echoes the officer's voice. Remain still. Despite the voice's promptings, you stay hidden underneath your bed. You remain under your bed for ten minutes before hearing a sinister voice coming from the hallway. I see you. Run. Or remain still. I'll remain still. I know where you are hiding. The voice continues from the hallway. You shiver as the sound pierces your ears. Remain still. The eerie voice continues. If you don't come out, I'll go there myself. Stay hidden. You hide under your bed for the rest of the night. Morning comes, pouring sunlight through your bedroom windows. Feeling safe, you get out from under the bed and stretch. Silence envelops your house. You hear no more footsteps or voices. You don't know what was searching for you last night, but perhaps it's better if it stays that way. The next night, you sleep peacefully in a motel as you put your house up for sale. Shortly after, you find a buyer for your old house. You consider telling them about what happened that one night, but decide against it. After all, who would believe it an entity that can mimic human voices? All you say is that hiding under the bed worked when an intruder broke in one time. One day, while walking around the neighbourhood, you pass by your old house and notice a sign on the lawn. Once again, the house is up for sale. Restart. So I guess that was the first ending. I assume there's multiple endings just based on that. You're hiding under your bed, something is searching for you. Your mother's voice echoes in the hallway. Sweetheart, sweetheart, come out, your mother wants to see you. She died years ago. Crawl out. You are now standing in the middle of your room. Footsteps reverberate from the hallway. Peek into the hallway. Close bedroom door. Or hide under your bed. I'm going to peek into the hallway. Hiding behind a door frame, you peek into the dark hallway. You see something approach your bedroom. It doesn't see you. Keep looking or go back to room. I've got to keep looking. You keep staring at the figure as it slowly approaches your bedroom. 
the sound the sound of footsteps gets closer it still doesn't see you keep looking you keep looking at the dark figure from behind the door frame keep looking you continue staring keep looking it sees you run panicked you dash out of your room you don't make it very far a few steps into the hallway and something grabs you you try struggling but it's too late it has you now. As everything fades away, you hear the sound of your own voice coming from whatever grabbed you. Found you. Hmm. I guess that's another ending. You're hiding under your bed. Something is searching for you. Your mother's voice echoes in the hallway. Sweetheart, come out. Your mother wants to see you. She died years ago. Stay under your bed. You stay hidden underneath your bed, footsteps echo in the hallway and you hear your mother's voice once more. Phone for help. Your phone hasn't been able to get a, sin a signal since your mother entered your house. It was working perfectly just an hour ago. Regardless, you try calling the police. As expected, you can't get a signal and you shut off your phone. Pretty sure this, this is the second game now where I've had to mention Pretty sure you don't need a phone signal to actually call the police. Anyway, the sound of footsteps roam the hallway. You are still hiding under your bed. Crawl out. You are standing in the middle of your room. Footsteps reverberate from the hallway. Close the bedroom door. The hinges of your door creaks as you close it, piercing the silence. As you finish locking it, you hear your mother's voice again. Is that you, my dear? Brace yourself against the door. You push your back against the door, digging in your heels. The footsteps outside the door creep closer, and you suddenly hear the doorknob rattling. After a few setting, se seconds, the rattling stops, followed by the sound of your mother's voice again. There's nothing to be afraid of, my sweet. Keep bracing yourself against the door. Whatever is on the other side of the door starts pounding at it. Each blow sends shockwaves down your body as you push back against it. Let. Me. In. You are not sure how much longer you or the door can take it. Hmm. Do I continue bracing or find somewhere to hide? I'm going to continue bracing for now and see what happens. You don't believe you can find somewhere to hide in time, so you continue bracing yourself against the door. Each successive pound against the door is harder than the last. Eventually, the pounding becomes so high at the hard that shockwaves send you to the ground. A second later, the door is forced open, revealing a shadowy figure in the doorway. Found you. The voice seems awfully familiar. As the figure approaches, you find out why. It was your voice. You're hiding under your bed. Something is searching for you. Your mother's voice echoes in the hallway. Sweetheart, come out. Your mother wants to see you. She died years ago. You are now standing in the middle of your room. Footsteps reverberate from the hallway. Peek into the hallway. You hiding behind the door frame, you peek into the dark hallway, you see something approach your bedroom, it doesn't see you, keep looking. You keep staring at the figure as it slowly approaches your bedroom, the sound of footsteps get closer, it still doesn't see you, go back to room. You are now standing in the middle of your room, footsteps reverberating in the hallway, hide under your bed. You slide back underneath your bed, stay under your bed. You stay hidden underneath your bed. Footsteps echo in the hallway and you hear your mother's voice once more. Come out, your mother has a surprise for you. Remain still. You remember under your bed for ten minutes when you suddenly hear a man's voice coming from the hallway. This is the police. We have apprehended the intruder and it is now safe for you to come out. You are hiding under your bed. Remain still. Everything is fine. The officer continued. We have the suspect in custody and several other officers are waiting outside. Come out. 
Prompted by the voice of a police officer, you crawl out from under your bed. As you crawl out, you feel relieved that help was able to arrive, even though you weren't able to contact the authorities. The relief is short-lived. Just as you stand and dust yourself off, you notice a shadowy figure standing in the doorway. Found you, it says with a familiar voice, and everything fades to black. You realise why the voice sounded so familiar. It was yours. You scamper under your bed. Just after you bring your legs under the bed frame, the door blasts open. As you lie on the ground, you see a pair of shadowy feet in the hallway. Once again, you hear your mother's voice. Come out, dear. There is no way you can hide. Stay still. You remain motionless, but your eyes follow the pair of feet at the doorway. The thing for searching for you walks all over your room. You hear closets opening and curtains being pulled back. After a brief pause, you hear footsteps approaching the bed you're hiding under. Stay still. The footsteps come closer. Stay still. Something is now standing at your bedside. It begins to speak. You wouldn't be hiding under your bed, would you? Stay still. You hear someone crouching. Then a hand reaches under your bed. Close your eyes. You hold your breath, close your eyes and curl up into a tight ball. Then you hear a hand feeling the floor inches away from you. Stay still. Thump. Stay still. Tap. Stay still. Thump. Stay still. You hear the hand retreating and somebody bending upright. The sound of footsteps resume and they echo further and further away. For a brief moment the footsteps pause and you hear your mother's voice again. Okay sweetie, I give up. I'll just come again tomorrow. You open your eyes. From under you, your bed you see a pair of feet exit the door and enter the hallway. Suddenly the house becomes silent. Even after ten minutes the house is still. Silent. Crawl out from under the bed or wait longer. Wait longer. Fifteen minutes pass. Wait longer. Twenty minutes pass. Wait longer. Twenty-five minutes pass. Wait longer. Thirty minutes pass. Call 911. After thirty minutes you decide to risk calling for help. As you turn on your phone, the screen's glow fills the underside of your bed. You set the brightness to a minimum. You tried calling for police when your mother first entered your house, but you couldn't get a signal. Just an hour ago, your phone was working perfectly fine. Despite that, you dial 911. Hope you get a signal. Ring. Hope you get a signal. Ring, ring. Hope you get a signal. You hear a man's voice. This is 911. Please state your emergency. There's someone in my house. Understood. Please state your location. You tell him your address. Please state your precise location so an officer can escort you to safety. I'm hiding under the bed in the master bedroom. Or keep quiet. I'm going to keep quiet. Please state your location. It's for your own safety. Keep quiet. I need you to state your location. Keep quiet. Where are you? As you hear the man say this loudly over the phone, you also hear the same voice coming from the hallway. Stay hidden. You hide under your bed for the rest of the night. Morning comes, pouring sunlight through your bedroom windows. Feeling safe, you get out from under the bed and stretch. Silence envelops your house. You hear no more footsteps or voices. You don't know what 
was searching for you last night, but perhaps it's better if it stays that way. The next night you sleep peacefully in a motel as you put your house up for sale, shortly after you find a buyer for your old house. You consider telling them what happened that one night, but decided against it. After all, who would believe in an entity that can mimic human voices? All you say that is hiding under your bed worked when an intruder broke in one time. One day while walking around the neighbourhood you pass by your old house and notice the sign on a lawn. Once again, the house is up for sale. <laughs> this is a very interesting game. As simple as it may be. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.